Hello everybody, welcome to Rations Please. It's a very cheery game, my name is Masterophilus and I'm here to guide you through it. But essentially it's a very happy story about just about normal day-to-day -day lives of average people. And we have to give out rations to all of these uh, people who are going about their day. Look at their beautiful town. So nice. Look at that beautiful grass over there that separates the sidewalk. Alright, Carrie drops it. You need a ration. Why would you need one? So here we go. We got ourselves three choices. We got rations. We got no uh, rations, which is basically indicated by this. And we have a gun. So, you know, you can basically, if you wanted to, uh, gun down everybody in line. Or you have basically a, a set amount of resources here to utilize. So let's see. Carrie. She's female, she's 59, she's unemployed. So we make judgments based on that. Like, oh, should we give Carrie food? That's really a good question. Now, I'm gonna say, because everybody gets one, everybody gets one, so you get one. Here you go. Tyrone Wicker, you see he's a soldier. Adult, male. And Calandra Baggett, Baggett? All right, you, you get one, here you go. Sebastian Gilham, farmer, yes. Oh, you only get one. Did did I just... Did you just do something? But here, the elderly. Yes, you also get one. You also get one. Here you go, you get one. Oh, look, you don't really look like a merch... You know what? I don't even know what a merch is supposed to look like. Let's just give everybody one ration. Oh, you... I'm gonna remember that name, Anthony. So that's Anthony. I'm gonna shoot him in the, in the head. Alright, Jim Shorts. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, just... Oh, I have to give him the ration. Okay. Oh, wait, another one? Okay, alright. Yep, you keep giving me. Uh... No. The gym, gym. Okay. You know what, Jim? You're fine. All right. So we only have four left. Uh, eight people have died from illness, which means nothing really mattered to uh, how I could. I gave everybody food except for one person. Seven rations were distributed. Three were produced. I can buy some with creds. And that's brought me up to eight rations, nine rations, ten rations. All right, let's start the new day. Fourteen people are now in line. Tyrone Gear, here you go, buddy. You get one. Petrina Shorts, you also get one. Anti Girdery, you get one. Row zero. Whatever. You know, really, it doesn't matter. It's just more of a moral choice, I suppose. So, what do I do after I'm out of rations? That's really a good question. Celas Mias. Cheryl Shorts, of course. Ava. Oh, we're out. Guess we're gonna have to use the Glock. Alright, let's clear out um, the rest of the population here. Because we are out of resources, and there we go. There we go. We've kept about 13 of our population safe. Uh, everybody else is about dead, though. Mm, five more people left. So, you get a ration? Um, no. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to say no. I'm, I'm gonna have to gun you down, my dude. Ah, my money! <laughs> oh, no ration for you. No ration for you. No ration for you. Here, you can get a ration. Just ignore all the genocide I just did, and uh, yeah. We can get on with our day. We have two more rations left. Eleven people in line, Jesus Christ. Tyrone Wicker. Um, no. Ooh, I'm gonna shoot you next, Tyrone. No. Move along. We've got nothing here. We only have two rations. 
Should have kept the farmers extra fat. I think I fed all the farmers. Though there was a period where I just gunned down like four people, so that would have probably been a farmer, I think. Listen, I need to keep a farmer alive. Farmer, you're staying alive. Farmer, you are also staying alive. Rest of you are good as dead. Oh, Jesus. Day six. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're useless to me. What do you mean you could pay for it? You are a child. How are you going to pay for it? Alright, listen, you farmers need to stay alive. I'm telling you. Oh, Jesus. Two died of hunger, one died of illness, but my farmers are still alive. That's all that matters. No one came to lie today. I wonder if it's because I gunned down four of them. Nice, we have four rations. We're doing good. Two people in line. Yes, here you go. Here you go. Goodbye. G good job, farmers. You're doing me good service. I want to have a glowing recommendation. What do the other two people want to do? Do they want to starve? How many days does this go up to? Huh. I don't think it says anything. Oh, two people in line. Here you go, farmer and farmer. You can do whatever you want, honestly. Yeah, well, look at that. An infinite supply of food. Albeit, I have to hope that the two farmers do not eventually starve. Who are the six people? So who are the other four? If you discount me, there's three other people left behind. Oh. Yeah, here you go. Wow, we've really achieved- This is like the Thanos effect, really. Like, enough of our population dies, we become self-sufficient. We're in a golden age now. Holy shit. Thanos is right. And it seems like there's only two people have stomachs and intestines in our world. Everybody else, they don't need to eat. What is happening? How far can I go in this? Day 16. Alright, here you go, zombie lady. I mean, now I can give everybody extra rations now. Nobody came to line today. Did I really need to gun down four people? Some would say, in the grand scheme of things, yes. But Jesus, I we're at 18 days now. I mean, I could I could definitely give more people food now. We we're at 20 days. Maybe different parts of the country. We should be exporting this food. We could be saving the country, honestly. Nah, actually, let's just hoard it. We'll be the Wakanda of this country. It doesn't say how long uh, people last for. But, but people do apparently play for a long period of time, huh? Oh, wow, 20 days. I survived with six people. Mission accomplished. Well done. And if you guys want to see more content like this, please let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye and take care. I'm going to let this go by so I can get to the 10 minute limit. Aha. Yeah.
Okay, bye bye.